I'm Adam Harry from Bella Souls, back with another quick overview, I guess we can call it that. Uh, I'm not really unboxing these models, but uh, we got this little package from Weird Games. They sent us over some production models for their recently successful Kickstarter, The Other Side. Uh, we wanted to show them off. We're really impressed with these models. Uh, just to give you some stats real quick. Their Kickstarter racked up a total of 1,618 backers. Uh, with a grand total of $337,488 worth of backer support for their Kickstarter. So pretty big success considering they were they were asking for a small fraction of that uh, comparatively. I've got a couple of different models here. Most of these are from the uh, Gibbering Hordes faction. We do have one from the King's Empire faction. That's this Infiltrator here. Um, these are all a custom blend of PVC in a 32 millimeter heroic scale uh, scale <laughs> as you can see here and they all come pre-assembled they came out of the back uh, out of the box like this so as you can see here fully assembled uh, already on their bases ready to rock and roll uh, we didn't get one of the uh, the plug bases they have these big plug bases for the the units like here the uh, Yazari here uh, those would actually go into a plug base as far as I can tell um, and uh, same with the infiltrators, I believe they come in a unit, but for now we've got the one. Uh, they did make a note here as well that the uh, firearm on the uh, infiltrator will get a slight adjustment, it'll make it a little bit bulkier as well. So I uh, just wanted to show that off. So I'm going to cut real quick and we'll take a look at each one of these models. So the first miniature that I wanted to take a look at was actually one of the larger ones. This is the Frenzy. Uh, if you backed him on Kickstarter uh, and you got the, uh, the upgrade package, for him, he's one of the add-ons. There's actually a unit of three, I believe. But here you go. This is the Frenzy. This is, of course, made of that PVC material. So uh, it has a little bit of a shine to it. So if you're going to paint this, I do recommend probably using some, some dish detergent, some uh, soapy water. Just kind of give it a quick scrub to get some of that mold release off of the model. Um, and then hopefully that shine goes away, but then you can always prime it and stuff like that. Pretty highly detailed, as you can see here. Uh, one of the things I do like most about this material, besides the fact that it holds the detail so well, especially with that long whippy tail you can see all the different ridges and stuff like that but uh, what i like most about this material is this check this out i'm gonna bend the tail <laughs> and then i'm gonna let go and you can see it snaps back to mostly its original position so it's gonna go all the way back um, but it's a really cool material uh, we've seen this stuff before in some other um, production other companies use it but it is a custom blend so i don't know all the science behind it or all the details behind it but you can tell uh, pretty cool material, great for tabletop. You can pinch his hands and the claws and they're gonna go back. Um, basically, it would take a lot of work to destroy one of these models. This is obviously based off of a, a shark, as you can see here, based on that elongated body, and its pose, uh, and, and they come on the base like that, so pretty cool stuff. Let's take a look at the next set. Did I tip my hand when I said set? Obviously, I'm looking at the uh, Yarazi here, that's uh, Y-A-R-A-Z-I, I I believe it's your Yarazi. Sorry if I'm butchering that. <laughs> uh, but these are, again, more creatures from the uh, Gibbering Hordes faction, as you can see here. They're kind of winged uh, frog-like fish dudes. I don't know. They got big old big old bug eyes, uh, wings on their backs. Again, made of that same material. Uh, super bendy, but without breaking, which is nice. So you can kind of see there, there's kind of manipulating the, the stuff. Um, again, a little bit of a shine to the models, but they still happen to hold all that detail really well, but they can totally take some abuse here on the tabletop, just kind of banging them here. Uh, you're not going to get any chips uh, as far as the model or brakes or anything like that. Again, even the, the finger joints you can kind of mess with, they're, they're going to snap back. Um, so really impressive. There's, uh, you get this unit, it's going to have multiple poses. Um, I believe it's going to be a total of five, but I didn't write that down, so don't quote me on that. Uh, it's, it's on the Kickstarter page. Here's the bottom of the bases, by the way. Again, I think these are the plug bases where you're, you're gonna get a big unit of, of them, and you can put them all in the, the big, uh, whatever size bases they were on the on the Kickstarter there. But uh, cool poses. I like the models. I also like the fact that they come pre-assembled from the, from the, the manufacturer, which is kind of a nice touch. Uh, you don't get to customize them as much, but that's okay with me. Um, I'd rather start playing right out of the box. Um, especially for these these type of miniatures but really cool stuff um i, I like them <laughs> again they're kind of a gaunt frog-like big old bug eyes uh again part of the the gibbering horse um faction instead of mechanic but the gibbering horse faction their uh their 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 look is pretty much uh that kind of weird sea creature look so let's take a look at the next one 
This is the Stripes uh, Sulker, as one of them, as you can see. I like the the pose of this model because I like the whippy tail on them. As you can see, it kind of curls around. And you can, again, same material, cool stuff. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. So again, just clean it off. But really cool production model again. Uh, you can kind of see it looks, reminds me of a chameleon in some ways with the eyes and the face. Um, and again, the, the kind of whippy tongue. I have no idea what this guy does in the game, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something creepy because look at him. <laughs> Uh, pretty cool little pose. I like that it's all kind of hunched over, very uh, reptilian or amphibian looking, and uh, definitely from the creatures of, this, of the deep uh, faction that is the Gibbering Horde. So last but not least, let's take a look at the Infiltrator. That is a big hat. So you can see right off the bat, we have a, a single model here, kind of zoomed in a little bit closer so you can see. Um, the gun, the pistol, the, again, they do want to mention that that the sidearm will see a slight adjust adjustment in the final production models. Uh, should be a little bit bulkier and uh, it should uh, look a little bit more sturdy. But you can see the detail on the face um, there as well. And the hat, and then it's got a lot of little knickknacks and stuff on his back. You can see um, there's like a TNT box. <laughs> so I'm willing to bet this guy places some explosives. Um, he's got some detail on the pants legs too and the boot so you can see all that good stuff going in there, and then there's there's actually bullets on his uh, his uh, holster area there too. So um, pretty cool little model. I wish we had gotten more of the uh, the King's Empire faction, just because I, I like that faction. I like the look of them, but uh, just there's such a stark contrast to the uh, gibbering hordes. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, there are two other factions. Uh, there's the Cult of the Burning Man, and then all the also the uh, uh, Abyssinia faction, which is the tech guys that use the uh, the weird zone uh, craziness from from the Malifaux universe. So there's a lot of a uh, <clears throat> bleed over without being a direct tie-in. So, um, but cool stuff. This is a cool miniature. Again, that's from the other side. Uh, the kit chart from Weird just just successfully completed. Um, hoping to see this stuff in stores relatively soon. Uh, we will see eventually. Uh, uh, they they have estimated ship dates. Uh, putting them in 2017 December-ish for uh, for backers. Hopefully they get the stuff out a little quicker. I mean, we got some, I wasn't expecting to get a package from them yet. So, uh, but this is cool stuff. I, I'm excited to see what Weird has in store for the rest of us. I'm really excited to see the other side on the tabletop and to see what that game is all about. So uh, go check them out on the website, weird-games.net or just Google Weird Games, you'll find them or other side. Anyway, I'm Adam here from Bell Bell Lasso. <laughs> Sign off, have a good one.